Hi guys, this is like an old try. Um, and some reason I keep trying to do this and the computer keeps dying on me. I actually, it's iMovie that keeps dying on me. Oh, and I, I moved the quick time. Um, and I was going to talk about um, showing you some news articles to quote my sources. And every time I try, the system dies on me. Uh, with cam twist. I don't know if it's specifically um, because of something in the software or whatever. So I'm not going to try and keep wasting my time. But uh, here's where it goes. Um, what's going on with Google is its own employees in-house are trying to unionize. And they're like, no. And they don't want their employees to unionize. So what, you know, what Google's trying to do is force the people to stay non-unionized because they don't want unions involved in-house nor do they want to work with unions outside of YouTube, Google. Now, we're talking about full-time employees here of Google, and they feel that they need the collective power of a union in the office in Zurich, Switzerland. And so that they have decided to invite a union to come in and to speak with them and to become, uh, encourage them to become members of a union. The reason why YouTube, you, Google doesn't want the unions to come in is because they realize that once they got union employees, they're going to be screwed. But at the same time, the employees are waking up to the reality of why we are also trying to create the YouTubers union and through IG Metal. Please understand that the employees, we're talking about full-time employees here, are fully aware of what management is trying to do to creators. And they are also aware that they are also in trouble because they don't have anyone to protect them from management's wrath. The sad truth is, it's pretty bad when you got a, a company like YouTube that sits there going, oh, you know what? Um, gee, um, you don't like it, you can go pound sand. That's the way the management is thinking. You don't like it, you can go pound sand. Well, guess again, because of what was passed in, San, in California, means that, for example, and this includes YouTubers, that employ people who work for, say, companies like Uber, Lyft, even Domino's, by the way, who are theoretically um, contractors should be entitled to contractors' rights. Well, unfortunately, that also applies to San Bruno, California, YouTube office within the state of California. And don't forget that YouTube is under a lot of pressure, as is Google, with the 50 attorney state journals, as well as the Federal Trade Commission in the United States. Given what has been going on, it is more than likely that once the YouTubers Union takes into the European court system, that... YouTube will be eaten alive in legal repercussions for their actions. Plus, why the employees, I think, are really rightfully feeling a little more confident that they have a legitimate reason to unionize to protect themselves from the wrath of upper management. Now, every time I tried to mention this in this video, the computer kept crashing on me. So, something tells me it's something about when you start sharing articles on Cam Twist that the system says, I'm sorry, but we're not going to let you do that. <sighs> yeah. Well, 
So that's why I'm not going to share the articles. But I will send you the article links. You can actually watch them, read them yourself. That way I don't have to repeat everything. But what I find disgusting is in the 19, early 19, late 19th century, early 20th century, in the manufacturing sectors, such as heavy metals like steel and the railroads, the same thing was happening. The rubber barons and the big capitalists were doing the same thing, preventing employees from doing collective bargaining. And unfortunately for some industries, such as the trucking industry, the Teamsters did manage to succeed in becoming unionized. The same thing with the iron workers of America, as well as IG Mental as well, when it was created as a trade union. It came in because the people wanted and felt that they needed collective bargaining to protect themselves from unscrupulous management. So, because YouTube is doing the same practices that the, these 19th century capitalist people were doing, it's not surprising. It's a different industry, but it's the same exact allegations that the employees are feeling that they're not getting fair representation and being treated fair by the management. And we're not talking much about the regular full-time employees here. We're not even talking about the third parties, independents, like the YouTube content creators. If we add them in, the fact is that and really, as I said, the GDPR and the um, false self-employment issue, which is being dealt with by the laws in or uh, by California's general legislature, which has passed, which is totally going to screw YouTube over and other companies, including Uber and Lyft. These companies realize that they can no longer say that these people are no longer um, employees, or they cannot say we're not employees, but rather they have to accept that they are independent contractors and are doing a job for a company, and therefore they are entitled to independent contractors' rights. That's important. And that's so important because if YouTube can't accept the fact is that when they gave us YPP, they gave us the option of becoming contractors. And yet, at the same time, they're saying we're not contractors. They call us partners. But the truth is, we're not partners either because if we were truly partners, they would treat the, they would have treated us more as equals, and partners would be considered equals. A partnership is an equal thing between two or more people. YouTube isn't playing by those rules. It's creating its own rules, saying, I control the horizontal, I control the vertical, I control the color, I control the brightness, I control the contrast. All you do is you put your cat videos up here and we pay you what we feel it's worth for your cat videos. That's not the way it's supposed to go. And it's the employees, the full-time employees, as like I said, are well aware of this and are very, very concerned for their own job security as well. What's going to happen, YouTube, is one day you're going to piss off all the wrong people. You already are losing content creators. They're leaving because they don't like what you've done. They don't like how you're destroying their dreams. After you gave us the option in 2013 to become part of the YouTube Partner Union, as a YouTube partner, after we had 10,000 viewing hours a lifetime, you said that we could become partners. Then, I mean, some of us agreed that we didn't want to have major channels. We just wanted to make just a little bit of content, make a little bit of pocket money. And that was all we wanted. We were happy. Nobody complained but us, except your advertisers, which said that some of the content that's being produced is uncomfortable for them. Isn't it sad that the same advertisers we can't exactly negotiate with? We can't choose the companies that we want to support. We can't select... If I want advertisement from, say, certain snow shovel manufacturers 
or certain type of winter equipment uh, manufacturers like snowblowers and and things like that or certain types of road south i can't choose that i don't have that choice yet you're saying to us is that we're going to select the content creators or we're going to match you up with the advertising but the sad truth is is that some of the channels and the advertising are very much at odds okay for example a channel that is a right uh, is anti-abortion is not going to appreciate an advertisement for Planned Parenthood, okay? A channel, for example, that encourages a vegetarian vegan lifestyle is not going to tr- appreciate an advertisement from Arby's, okay? This is just a fact. But yet, your saying is that your advertisers are complaining that they are feeling being offended, being, being part of certain advertising in 2016. Well, you know what? The truth is, is that you created the problem from the beginning. Yes, YouTube, you created the problem because you chose to pick a side. Instead of staying by your original motto, which is to do no evil, you chose to do an evil. You chose to stick with a platform that's very liberal, very extreme leftist, and basically, I'm now saying that you want your YouTube platform to be extremely leftist and extremely sugar-coated, saccharine-coated fantasy. The truth is, is that the YouTubers that make you good, make you grow, make you successful, are not the ones that you are you're comfortable with because they make you question everything. Me, Alex Jones, to Michelle Marie Tlani, to Lisa Haywin, to the Next News Network, to Right Side Broadcasting. We are the ones that make you seriously cringe because we make you think about everything that you're doing and that realize that maybe the way you have gone too far. That's why it doesn't sit well with you. That's why you're still trying to find a way to censor us and shut us up. Because we also have a voice. And the same thing with PragerU. You don't like PragerU because he's a conservative platform and he's trying to teach a very conservative values. Why would you block and restrict five uses on the ten five videos on the Ten Commandments? Why would you do that? The Ten Commandments have been the backbone of this country since this country was founded as a country. It's a Core tenet, it's a core tenet of our laws in the United States. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife or thy neighbor's good. Thou shalt utter thy father and mother, thou shalt utter thy God who took you out of slavery in the land of Egypt. Yes, those are a core part of every single American founder's laws, and that we chose. But yet, you're saying is, well, we're this multinational corporation, and some of these countries don't want this here, and so we have to make them happy. Look, that points a problem up right there, and you just pointed it out. Your, con- your, your organization is too broad. It's too big. It's covering too many countries. You're trying to satisfy everybody, and which means in the end, nobody gets satisfied, not even you. Because what was acceptable in the United States isn't accept- acceptable in Thailand or Bangladesh. It's not going to happen that way because they have their own policies, okay? But you're trying to create a concept of saying is, is U.S. videos need to be suitable for other countries such as Thailand and Bangladesh, for example, or even China itself. After all, we all know that YouTube wants to get into the Chinese economy. Well, there's a problem. It's not going to work that well for anybody. So for American content creators, we are being told that we have to support this far leftist agenda. It wasn't always that way. 
We, we love doing the videos we do because it's special to us. It makes us happy. We love sharing our content. We love putting things together. That's what made YouTube so great. And the Google employees that want to unionize know the same thing is going on with them. They see what's going on out to us and to uh, their own selves. And that's why they want to become a part of a union is because they want they feel that they need a collective protection from the upper management that wants to steamroller them and hiring scabs and basically well, hiring people that are yes people and will do what they say and control and manipulate and, sp and, and do corporate policy. Well, you know what? The sad truth is, is you, your employees have a valid point. YouTubers Union as a valid point. Susan Wachie, I'm actually talking to you. Please listen to me. I know you never met me. I know you never talked to me. I want to say this very nicely. Please sit down with the average, everyday YouTuber, George Sprave, or anybody who's part of the YouTubers Union. Let us talk to you. Let us talk to you. Let me. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Just give me your email and contact information. I will talk to you. George Sprave will talk to you. Other people want to talk to you. We want to know why are you doing this to what was once one of the most popular and premier video content platforms in the, in the world. And also another thing too, why are you running four or five ads on a video? Why don't you go back to what you used to do with YPP and then basically you only have to run one, maybe two on a video. This is getting ridiculous. You get mad at people who run ad blockers, but you keep forgetting why people run ad blockers. It's because you go too many ads, too much effort, too many irritants. You're trying to become like cable company the cable company in my area is dead. It's actually circling the drain. The only thing it's selling right now is internet access. It doesn't even offer away any TV reception anymore. And the package that you want to buy, I sure the hell don't. Anyway, so think about this, guys, because it's a good point. Season one, Jiggy, I invite you to join me, George Sprave and others to sit down with us on Hangouts. Oh, yes, by the way, let's talk about that. Why did you shut down Google Plus exactly? Hmm? Because you know what? You had a good thing with Google Plus. You shut down Google Plus case 10 because it wasn't profitable. Is YouTube next? Is YouTube going to be the next one that's going to be not profitable anymore? So that means that now you're saying is because YouTube isn't going to be making money anymore, you're going to shut it down? And what about Google Hangouts on air? Why don't you shut that down? Are you afraid? There's so many things I'm sensing. Uh, I am picking up some things. That means that YouTube is going to be the next sunsetted product and you know what i'm not gonna cry at this funeral because i know who did murder one google murdered its own child isn't that wonderful how sad all right guys now you know why we decided not to do this at the soup kitchen. Because I really, really wanted to really focus on this and make it clear. I'm going to share the link that I could not share because this, the cam twist kept, kept doing something with the video and crashing it. And I will post the link to the articles on the YouTubers Union in here on the end of this video. Of course, if you're watching this on the YouTubers Union, I'm going to upload this directly to the YouTubers Union. I'm not going to send it through you, 
YouTube because YouTube is going to try to screw this up and block me and censor it and erase it and delete it. I got a feeling they're going to do everything they can to make sure you never see this. So I'm going to upload straight to the YouTube reunion and straight to my YouTube page. And fuck YouTube. I'm going to upload straight to my Facebook. So you will see this a lot sooner than you expected. But for now, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.